What's up YouTube and welcome back to Kang Brothers TV, Genk 1, Liverpool 4. Bro, those goals, yeah? I'm going to start with those goals in this game. They were nuts. They were high quality. <laughs> the quality in those goals. If people, if people, neutral fans ain't seen these goals or anyone who's missed those goals, just go pre those goals, yeah? Because the first one was a nice goal, but the goals after that, which is pure mazza. It's a mazza. But I, I think straight away, yeah, I think I, the point I want to make straight away is we've gone, we've gone away from home for after a long time won a game, which is important. <laughs> yeah. yeah, which is important. But fair, but listen, get, get, I know everyone looks at it because, oh, yeah, it's easy work. I don't think it was that... It, it was as easy work as everyone keeps saying. Like, listen, getting had chances early door. That goal that they disallowed, I'm sorry, but that's, that's you know, that's minimal. The offside was very minimal, right? Mm. But... Um, so fair play to them. Uh, it, was, it was difficult. It was. I don't think it was as easy as people are making out. Second half, I thought we controlled the game really well. But first half, I still felt like there was one ball, and there was like we're, we're, there's like three on two, and I'm thinking, what's going on here? I think I think this game, the Klopp really wanted to actually go out there and attack. You know, there's been so much talk around about Liverpool going to these away games, being quite dull, quite negative. Today, you can tell even by the lineup straight away. When you saw Naby in there, you saw Ox, and he's like, yes. Because this is what we've been talking about for a, a long mm. time now, in fact, this midfield. And it seemed as if even the wing-backs, he just wanted to go press up high. Goals, goals from midfield. That's the one thing that we've been crying out for. Uh, and it's, it is so nice. It's refreshing. I mean, as I said, Ox does some stupid shit sometimes. But so you've got to buy a ticket, right? I guess it's probably the way, the way to look at it. But I think that for me, what, what the positive thing was, Naby Kate seems to be finding his feet. There's still, there's still work to be done. Um, but he's finding his feet. You know, he's actually picking up the ball a lot. And he's... Excuse me. The, the goal that... Um, Ox scored the, the the nuts goal that outside of the foot that came from his pass, you know, and that that's the the ball we talk about, you know, trying to get the ball in between, break the lines and stuff like that, which was good. But listen, it's easy to to say Ox this more than Ox that year, but listen, for me, no man, I just, I, I'm you, I just get bored of saying it. You, we, he's amazing. He, well, the stuff that he does is just phenomenal. You know, some, they they said in on on the analysis afterwards he didn't have a shot on target, but. When you set up three goals like that, it don't matter. It does not matter. The only people that question Firmino and who don't see it are people who just don't know football. I'm sorry, that's as simple as that. People just look at stats and think, oh, Firmino don't score that many goals. So, for whatever reason, this not a false number nine or this striker is better than Firmino, I would have, I would have this person ahead of Firmino. Mm -mm. You, you, can't, you have to see what this guy does. All, I think nearly all the goals who's involved yeah. in somehow, in some way. And they're, they're highlighting it uh, on TV as well. Like, the shit that he does is crazy. And, like, you... Even like ex players were losing their mind just watching replays of his yeah. touches and his flicks. And that flick he did to, to Mane, that should have been a goal. Yeah. yeah. Even he was celebrating, he was like ran off thinking, if this goes in, <laughs> it's going to be a massive. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, what we touched on the last, ga uh, last game, right, about Henderson. Now, like we, like, uh, for some reason, there's a lot of people saying that we, like, once again, are defending Henderson. What we're trying to say is that Henderson is definitely needed in the squad. We're not denying that. But, like, the perfect example was today. So you had Ox and you had Cater breaking through the lines. You had for Fabino was over the first pass. Let's not forget that because Fabino was doing a job today. So they were breaking through the lines, and then you look at the seventieth minute. You see, who, you see who comes on. You see Genie. Now, as an opposition team, that is the last player you want to see coming on. Ballon d'Or nominee, by the way. But <laughs> yes, the last person you want to see come on with the guy with legs. He came on and just start bossing it straight away. And for me, I think now you can see that. All right. There are times where Liverpool don't flow that well, but in terms of energy levels and how consistent we are, we actually tire teams out. Mm. By the end of it, teams are fucked. Mm. Like by the end of it today, even Genk were just like, cheese. Because the, that's why the game began to look mm. so one-sided. It was because of the energy levels and then obviously the subs. And, and the same against Man United because they switched off. The second half, I thought the performance today was was much better. First half, we were too open. Mm. We were we at the team. You get caught then it's a different story, which is proven before because we've lost games away from home. Um, but it's harsh, right? Because I know why they put him in, because it was a battle at the back, big lad up front or whatever. But Lovren, at that point, you know when you're 4-0? 4-0 away from home is everything. But as a defender, personally, for me, as soon as it's 4-1, if, when I'm playing in defence, it always bugs me that we didn't get a clean sheet. Mm. And that plays more on my mind than not than, than the win. Because you've done the hard work was done. They won. They were, they were winning that game comfortably. Um, Alisson made a brilliant save at one stage when, when Lovren switched off again. But that's what I'm saying. It's difficult because these guys aren't getting enough game time. But, oh, it's just that, you know, the standards. Enough, bro, what do you mean enough game time? You can't, that, that, that decision making there, just fucking put it in, put it in Rose's head. You're towards the end of the game. What are you doing shielding it in there? It just, yeah. does, it's just like you just 
sometimes Lovren just tries to remind fans, you know what I mean? I'm still Lovren. I'm, st I'm still, I'm st there's st still some, some fuckery that I can do <laughs> at any minute. Like, you know, don't switch off. Don't turn this game off because I can fuck, I can fuck with the base at any minute. Yeah. And he does. But I think overall, it looks a comfortable night's work. Second half was a comfortable night's work. Mane, it annoys me again. People like, you know, the commentators are always had a relatively quiet night because the standards he sets, but his work rate is con constantly being an absolute arsehole to defenders and, you know what I mean, stuff like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with the night's work. The thing is that we have to highlight as well, Mo Salah, he's back today, right? But he, it's like, we say that we miss him and we do miss him, there's no doubt. But he still frustrates, right? He still frustrates, that's what I was going to say. Like today, the amount of times lost the ball. Like we had, I had people uh, messaging on, on Instagram saying, are you, are you clocking what... Mo Salah's doing right now because it was getting it was getting frustrating, mm. and the only time he the only pass that he actually did was the assist to Mane. That was the but, only. But, and that's it. And that's what, you know we've been saying that for Trent for weeks now. It's like you know, he does Trent does a lot of dumb shit, but he get an assist. That's the same as and Mo Salah. Get like, a goal, gets, a, goal. gets a goal, gets an assist, and you look at it and think, well, that's a good night's work, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, but but that's the thing. You'd rather have him doing stuff like that than us being blunt. You know, you know against Man United, it proved when he went there, Trent was lost. Trent was like a, like a lost dog. Didn't know, do I, do I run? That space in, where the fullbacks are, well, they're, they're, they're sitting, they're, they're pushing us up the pitch. There's, there's no one running that way. What do I do? So having him in there, he can, he can do, like today, he can do dumb, wasteful shit, but get the goal and get an assist and be a constant threat. You know, one touch that he does uh, opens up the pitch massively. You know, as I said, Genk, enough respect to them. There's a, good play, there's a couple of good players in there. The two centre halves I thought were, were decent. That the, the lad in midfield, Smart as well. yeah, he was good. He was one. If I was a Premier League scout, I'd be looking at him. You know, obviously yeah, I've been in one game. In the League, but well. I'd be having a look at that because he, he was he was a problem, mm -hmm. an absolute problem all, all game. Well, the thing is, look, goals from outside the box. We've been, we've been crying out and crying out. So Ox, big up, shout out to you for those goals. Yeah, I mean, it takes off pressure from the front three. Yeah. Always on the front three, like, oh, you need to get goals. And this is what I'm saying, defenders then now need to say, hold on, we can't just mark these three, we got, there's goals in the midfield, and this is what we're lacking. So I hope it continues, and we hope we can keep those guys fit, um, because, you know, that's... I think but, that's but as I said, well, with, with, with Ox back now, and Cater back now, and Lallana scoring the other day, hopefully that means that we can freshen up the midfield a bit more, mm -hmm. and maybe Klopp's thinking, this is a time now to maybe just head to Jordan, Jordan, you just chill, yeah? when, and when you, you play when we need you, yeah? And I, maybe that's where we're going. Also, I said this to you earlier, for me... I'd give Jay, I would give James Milner three year contract with an option. Yeah? You do it on, on his terms. Because a guy a guy who can come in, yeah, and, and be as influential, the guy played right back, he's played centre midfield, centre back, left back. And it's just and he still does a job. Still does everyone's like, oh, he's getting old, he's getting old. Listen, those sort of players, you need them in your side because they set the standard. You talk about leaders, he is a leader just in performance alone. Yeah? I know he's getting old, but you need experienced heads. And if you're saying to me you can choose between Milner and Henderson, and I'm saying Milner, 30, like done, no, no questions asked. No, but the thing is, with the, I'd question that because, like I said, Henderson is a great player from the squad and there's different situations you bring Henderson on. Like today, like when I, saw, when I saw Genie come on, if Henderson came on today, I'd be happy with it because, you know, the energy level. So, but, but, yeah. but the thing is, if, if, if Milner was sat on the bench next to Henderson, mm. right, you know... You, or or you're, you're picking a squad. Nine times out of ten, you're probably going to go with Milner more than you're going to go with Henderson because he's got the he's got a penalty yeah, pass. He's got the penalty in his locker. He's got you know he's a bit more rounded player. Yeah. So if you've got all the midfielders available, you're probably going to look at it and think, I think Henderson misses out here. Mm. And, and if everyone's fit and firing, um, look, Cater was involved and he, he got a few assists. Right, that goal against Man United, the you know the pass was actually really well timed. Oxford scored two. Lana scored. Milner gets will get penalties, and he and he's you know he's very good at that. So you look at it, and you think, well, hold on, someone's got to miss out here. So all of a sudden, it's like you start to look at it now and think, Fabinho picks himself, Wijnaldum's class. So you're now looking at it and thinking, maybe Klopp was right and saying, you know what, I need Henderson until these mans get fit. And now you're looking at it and thinking, no, maybe we didn't need to sign anybody just just yet. I disagree. We do need to sign somebody and get rid of some of these players, but. In Klopp, we trust, I guess. That's the way I'd say. And what about man of the match? It's gonna be a tough one. For, this. Well, mate, Bobby. I, I know Ox has scored two goals, but for me, but for me, no, it's just mate. And that third goal, yeah, that third, that team goal, that was just literally a little bit. Of, that was quality. If you haven't seen, like I said, if you haven't seen the goals, go and watch the goals. As I said, it looks a comfortable night's work, and the second half was made to look like that. But don't disrespect. You can't disrespect Genk because they they were they they made it tough. For, for 60 odd minutes of that game. I'm going to give it to uh, Ox, man. The match. Come in, score two goals. The, the level of that goal. That second goal. Mad. <laughs> mad. It was mad. And luckily, that goal that we got early, it did kind of allow us to be a bit reckless because we've got the goal. Yeah. So. Before we finish the video, yeah, 
Now, at the end of the game, yeah, it was mentioned about racism. Now, there was a poster, yeah, of Debop Origi. <laughs> now, if, now, just quickly, is that racist? Is, is that racist? I think uh, it looks as though someone's tried to... If you haven't seen it, um, you'll be, it'll be all over Instagram, so I'm sure you have a chance to see it. I think what people try to do, they try to be playful and kind of make it so, like, you know, it doesn't all have to... All press doesn't have to be, like, negative press and try to make it bantery. But I think at a time like this... If Mendy and Silva are getting done, you can't be bantering with these things. It's a stereotype, isn't it? So, you know, they're, they're trying to play up this. I get it's... I just think timing-wise, it's probably wrong. Uh, timing-wise, it's, it's not the best thing to do at the moment. If someone's praising you for having a big cock, bro, so is, is that a problem? No, but is that it's, a problem? But it's, it's a... It's a like, you just... You, you just I'm saying it's banter. Oh, yeah, it's just banter. It's a laugh. Yeah, but yeah. that's what Mendy and Silva have been saying. So you can't be bantering anything. That's what I'm saying. It's a stereotype. And, yeah, it's it typically... In a, seen in a positive stereotype, but the fact of the matter is, when everything's such in in, in the headlines as it has been lately, mm. you can't mess around with them sort of jokes, can you? It's not. It's not. It's, if Mendy and and Silva are mates and they're getting done for those types of things, you put that up there. What do you expect? Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I just slightly disagree. I get you saying the timing wise is awful, but it doesn't mean that just because the timing of it is that you can do it next, next time when it's not. In no, the, no, in the no, no. I don't think you should. I, I think if it was done six to eight months ago, mm. I don't think it would have got as much. It would have got as much scrutiny as it got already, mm. because it's, it's six to eight months ago, and it would have been like, mm, I don't know. But, but, but with the Mendy and the uh, Silver situation, and with what's happening in Bulga in uh, Sofia, wherever it was, it's at the moment the timing wise. I'm just, I look, I just look, you look at it, and you think, I can see what you're trying to do. It's trying to put like a positive spin on things and banter it off. But as I said, you can't banter with these things because it's like you've proved in Mendy and Silver, you can't banter with it. So as far as I'm concerned, yeah, listen, someone's gonna get, someone's gonna get. Um, Shafted with for that. So <laughs> someone who someone's gonna have to pay the price for that one. I'm afraid. I find it hilarious, man. I thought it was funny, but yeah, for me, if anything, it's, it should be the picture itself is quite explicit, right? So if you have got kids and family, that's a bit dodgy. So that picture for me, that's the that's the angle I look at it. Otherwise, for me, I just see that as a joke. I think it's funny. I don't think Devox gonna be. I, don't, I would love to see what Devox is, but, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, on to the next one. Tottenham big big game. So uh, we need to get three points there and get back after the United game. Tottenham on good form from their last, well, I say good form, but from their last result was good in the Champions League. Um, but they're beating Belgrade at home, yeah. who were weaker than when they when they were in the Champions League last year, and the league form has been has been poor. So Liverpool have got to put it, we've got to put it on them. We've got we got to, we, you know, if we after the Man United game, we've got to win this game. So we have to win this game. So fingers crossed that we do. Nervous game with against them fuckers always, but you know, bring it on. Let's see how we get on. So until then, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and comment. Peace. Peace.